This is black cherry, Prunus serotina, a very light demanding early successional tree that has really wonderful wood. Let's learn how to identify this by looking close up at some of the characteristics. The leaves of black cherry are alternate and simple, but you know, that doesn't help you too much when you're identifying trees. Really to tell black cherry, it really helps to have a hand lens. Many of the characteristics we're going to talk about here, um, you really need to use a hand lens to see closely. So first of all, the genus Prunus that black cherry is in is characterized by having paired glands at the top of the petiole or base of the leaf. You can see those paired glands here in this close-up. The teeth of the black cherry leaf are distinctive as well. They curve inward toward the margin of the leaf much like a breaking wave and this helps you distinguish them from the choke cherry whose teeth flare outward away from the margin. If you flip the leaf over, you can see a line of rusty hairs along the mid vein in the lower part of the leaf. The fruits of black cherry are stone fruits, just like the cherries we eat, but of course they're much smaller and they're arranged on these long spike-like racemes. They will turn a dark black, purplish black color and of course birds love them. They're a very important food for wildlife and the birds of course in turn disperse this tree. The bark of the black cherry is a very dark gray and it's broken up into these flaky puzzle piece like chips that to me are reminiscent of burnt potato chips. The trunk of a black cherry tree is rarely straight. Rather, as the tree grows seeking light, the trunk twists and turns. Despite that, the wood of black cherry is highly prized for its good quality and its beautiful grain and coloration.